Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hello, welcome to Lead Pedal Podcast. I'm your host, Bruce Edwards. This is episode number 1009, and today we're going to give you a showcase of the Peterbilt 589 that was just launched. We saw one over at Expo Cam, and we'll tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Okay, hey folks, are you an owner or operator looking for a place to call home? Well, RIMS Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario, and that's right. They are a place, owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton, and they don't run much more than five to 700 mile radius. So if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles, they have a great culture for owner operators, and they want you to succeed, then RIMS Transport's the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to rimstransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sent you, and we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there, and we know they're going to take good care of you. you got open board. You've got uh, Tandem US. You've got uh, multi-axle US. you got city. you got all kinds of positions available there, all owner-operator fleet. So if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond, then get on with RIMS Transport and tell them we sent you. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Go to RIMSTransport.com. All right, so we uh, we had a chance to look at the uh, uh, Peterbilt 589. Very, very nice piece of equipment for sure. Um, it's the mixed reviews is how excited people are, but I uh, I gotta say, you know, sometimes it grows on you, right? I, I saw one of the new Kenworths that they launched uh, a couple years ago, and when I first saw it, I didn't like it. Now I've seen a few on the road, and guys have started tricking them out a bit, and they actually look pretty good. So maybe it's just a matter of growing on you. <laughs> it's how it's gotta work. Um, what's available with this? Uh, engine with this um with this peterbilt well if we look at the engine you can get the packard mx13 or the cummins x15 depending on what you want transmissions go from everything from uh an eaton um rt to uh 12 18 speeds and uh you can also uh, i believe get automatic uh options there uh front axle is uh 12,000 to 22,800 pounds depending on what you need front springs uh air leaf from peterbilt rear axles packard dana Meritor, depending on what you need. And rear suspension, of course, has got, uh, you can get Peterbilt, Hendrickson, Chalmers, um, New Way, Rayco, whichever you desire on that one. As far as the hoods go, it's got the full 90 degree opening, uh, 131 inch uh, BBC aluminum and 121 inch BBC aluminum are available. Bumpers, you can get aluminum, steel, polished, painted, chrome, standard taper, uh, deep taper, Texas square, two toe pins, uh, center toe pin, HD logger, whatever you want on <laughs> this one for sure. And then uh, lighting, uh, of course, there's a lot of lighting packages available. LED arrow marker lights, uh, LED bullet style marker lights, daytime running lights, lamps and fender brace, pod mounted halogen headlights, spotlights, fog lights, LED strobe lights. And the mirrors are the standardized motor, CB antennas, West Coast style, has the flat glass with the 8-inch convex, uh, turn, turn signs, and... St- turn signs and standard heat uh the interior was pretty comfortable there the trim levels uh there's platinum which is alpine gray and sandstone and premier alpine gray detachable sleepers you can get a 44 inch low roof a 58 inch high roof 58 inch low roof 72 high inch high roof 72 low inch and a 80 high roof and of course the seats are are sears atlas pass a passenger sears atlas driver roll tech peterbilt st pass uh, Peterbilt LST driver, you can get a LX pass, LX driver, HP driver, non furnished pass, and a two per, two person passenger seat as well. You want to take somebody along with you. As far as what technology is in this thing, uh, you got adaptive cruise control, uh, automatic uh, emergency braking and enhanced collision mitigation, lane departure warning, uh, highway departure braking, side object detection, detection. Uh, connected truck te- te- technologies are the smart LINQ remote diagnostics and over-the-air software updates. Uh, legendary package, the exterior has the bright cab, sleeper, rockers, uh, fender skirt, and low hood overlay. 
polished fender, script and spear hood side emblem, and on the interior, the dash emblem, door pad emblem, and script headrest stitching and perforation. So uh, these are just a lot of the options you can get. I uh, got to say, I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, I had a chance to sit in it, and if you are listening to this on the podcast, I urge you to go and check out the video on this because it's a pretty cool ride for sure. All right, my friends, uh, stay tuned. We'll get back to you. We'll get back with uh, some events. Hey folks, have you heard about uh, the Chrome Supply Warehouse? That's right. This is one of the best Chrome shops located in Belleville, Ontario. Exit 538 right off of the 401. I can tell you what, just go north, look for the glass, blue glass building, which you can see right off of the highway. They got parking for 100 trucks and they got every single type of chrome you want for your truck. Whether you're looking for interior parts like steering wheels or seats, whether you're looking for exterior parts like full fenders, or whether you're looking for custom parts like that cool, cool grill or bumper, they can get it for you. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the cleaning products. Don't forget all of that kind of stuff because it's all right there in one spot. In fact, their shop is almost bursting at the seams. So where do you go? You can go online to chromesupplywarehouse.com. You can check them out on their social media on Instagram, Facebook, or you can just drop in if you're going by. Belleville's located halfway between Toronto and Montreal. Drive in, exit 538, north side of the highway. Look for the big glass blue building. Tons of parking for trucks. They'll give you a coffee and a water, and you will have one of the best, best trucks on the road with their parts. They are determined to make sure that you look good. Make sure you tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sends you, and we'll see you next time. Hey folks, have you heard of CAT Transport? That's right, they are one of the leading carriers in Canada. They're, they've been best managed fleet for many years. They are a very large carrier that operates right across North America. And uh, the best way to find out about what they have to offer is to go to cat.ca and then click on the careers button. But let me tell you some of the things that are available to you right now. They've got locations based in key metropolitan areas across North America. You do not have to work out of Quebec even though they're a Quebec based carrier. They have operations for you anywhere where that you live. Total health benefits are available right off the bat. Remote work options, compensation that is competitive with the industry. Company matching pension plan. Hey, why not grow while they're growing? And on-site health and wellness programs are available. They've got career growth opportunities because they're a fast-growing company and they provide a work-life balance that they believe is best of the best. Skills development and training programs will keep you advancing in your career so that you can spend a long time with CAT. So check out CAT Transport at cat.ca and check on the click on the careers button to find out all about it. And by the way, tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sent you. All right, as far as events, the only one we got coming up is the PMTC. That's right, the PMTC Private Motor Truck Council of Canada is having their annual conference in Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, that's going to be a great conference, June 21st to 23rd. Uh, you can get out there and uh, check it out on pmtc.ca. Good luck getting a seat, but give it a try. <laughs> I know their sponsorships are all sold out, but you can certainly uh, probably get a seat. Anyway, uh, we'll be at that one, so we'll be broadcasting from there. That's part of our Lead Pedal 1000 as well. So we'll see you guys on the other side. Hey, make sure you follow us. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can find me on LinkedIn, and you can also find us on TikTok. And we hope you're having a great day today. All right, my friends. Talk to you later. Bye for now. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit theleadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.